It is quite easy to transfer a pattern to light fabrics, but what if you want to use dark fabric like this? In this video, I will show you simple ways to transfer patterns to dark fabrics. Usually, the easiest method to transfer an embroidery pattern is to trace it. Here you can see that tracing is not doing so well on this thicker fabric and is impossible for the colored fabric. Transfer paper, or also called carbon paper or tracing paper, is a great tool to transfer embroidery patterns. For this method, lay the fabric on a hard surface. This is very important. The fabric should also be wrinkle-free. Lay the transfer paper on top of the fabric. The color side should face the fabric. If you are unsure which one is the right side, test it at the edge of your fabric. Draw a short line over the paper with a pencil. If a line shows on the fabric, it is the right side. Then lay your pattern on top of the transfer paper and trace all of the lines firmly with a pencil. The lines of the transfer paper will rub away over time while you are stitching. This is why I like to draw over each line with a chalk pen. Here I'm using one by Prim. If you will cover all lines with stitches later, you can use a white gel pen or brush pen. I have tried out three brands of transfer paper. The one made by DMC turned out to bring the best results. The one made by a German art company was second best and the one by Prim was disappointing. It only worked on very finely woven black fabrics. I would not recommend this one. This method works on dark, medium and light fabrics. Most of the time there are two color options in a set of transfer paper. The DMC one has a yellow paper for dark fabrics and a blue paper for light fabrics in it. It is important to use transfer paper for fabrics and not for paper. The carbon paper used for paper can be hard to wash out later or even stain the thread. I personally use this transfer method the most. You can reuse the transfer paper multiple times and get a lot out of a single sheet. The downside is that it does take some time to do, especially if you retrace each line with a pen a second time. There is a wide spectrum of stabilizers that you can use for hand embroidery. The classic embroidery backings are for machine embroidery and often much too thick or too firm to stitch through by hand. If you need the stabilizer just for transferring a pattern, I recommend a water-soluble stabilizer like Fabri-Solvi or Solufix. These are thin enough to stitch through and dissolve in water completely. There are options to iron on, stick or just lay on the fabric. For this method, you trace or print the pattern onto the stabilizer. Depending on the product, you can now stick on, iron on or sew on the stabilizer to the fabric and embroider over it. Once you finish the embroidery, wash out the stabilizer in cold water. Read the instructions for your specific product first. Some stabilizers are actually printable. If you use this, you can transfer very delicate and complex patterns in no time. The downside for printing is that you always need a fresh sheet of stabilizer to print. To avoid too much waste of this rather expensive paper, use the unused parts for tracing by hand or place multiple patterns on one sheet at once to avoid too much blank space. I have so far used the products made by Flieseline and Sulky. They all work very well. If you want to know how to transfer patterns to light fabrics, then this video is for you. 